In this video we're going to look at how to do a rotation. So you're going to need some equipment, you're going to need some tracing paper. In the exam if you don't have that given to you, put your hand up and ask for some. A pencil and a rubber. And the information that you're going to need is going to be the degrees. So is it going to be a 90 degrees, 180 degrees or 270 degrees rotation? Uh, does it specify whether it's going to be clockwise or anti-clockwise? If it's 180 degrees it may not do, okay? but that you don't need it for 180 degrees, but for 90 degrees or 270, so you're going to need to know if it's going to be clockwise or anti-clockwise. And also, do you know where the center of rotation is? Once you know those three bits of information, then you can do the question. So let's have a look at a typical question. Okay, so this is the question. It says, triangle Q has been drawn onto a grid. It says, rotate the triangle Q 90 degrees clockwise center O. So I told you what the center of rotation is, it's center O. I'm just going to put a little cross there at the origin, okay, zero, zero. It says it's going to be 90 degrees and clockwise, okay? So clockwise is going to go around this way, and 90 degrees is then a quarter turn. So, get your tracing paper. And whenever you get your tracing paper, uh, make sure that you've got it either uh, landscape like that or portrait like that. Okay, make sure whenever you're putting it down, you're putting it down exactly uh, square. Okay, like landscape or portrait. Okay, uh, okay. so get your tracing paper. I'm putting mine uh, portrait like that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put a cross on top of the center of rotation there. And I'm going to get my ruler or... I would get my ruler, okay, but because I'm filming, I'm just going to do it freehand, okay. So then I draw very carefully up like so, and with my ruler across like so, and again with my ruler across like so, okay. So I've drawn on top of the center of rotation and the object that I'm going to rotate. Now, I put my pencil there, okay. Well, let's just straighten that back up again, okay. And because I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my page from being portrait like that to landscape, okay. So I'm going to turn it for 90 degrees, okay. In other words, this side here will be vertical here, okay. This side here is going to go along the bottom, okay. So it's going to go like so, okay. A nice quarter turn like so, okay. You can clearly see where the triangle is going to go, okay. So you can sort of draw over it quite hard, okay. And then you'll see on the page sort of where it's going to go. Okay. So it's going to go there, there, and there. And then get your ruler and, and just join it up like so. And there you go. We have rotated the triangle Q 90 degrees with the, about the center O like so. Okay, this time we've been asked to rotate a triangle T, so this triangle, 180 degrees about the point 1, 0, and label the new triangle A. So first of all, let's put down where the centre of rotation is going to be, 1, 0. So the centre of rotation is going to be here, 1, 0, like so. Okay, next, get your tracing paper, put it on top of the object that you're going to rotate. Make sure it's nice and... Um, sort of square on like so, okay? Um, so make sure of that. Draw on top of the center of rotation, put a little cross on top of the center of rotation like so, and then get your ruler, okay? Again, I c it's gonna be quite hard for me to do while I'm filming, so I'm just gonna do a free hand, but get your ruler and draw very neatly up like so, and across like so, and across like so. So draw on top of your object you're going to rotate. Now, this time it said 180 degrees. It didn't say clockwise or anti-clockwise. The reason you're saying, I'll just show you now, okay? If I was to rotate this 100, 180 degrees, so first of all, you see the lines like so. So that there is 90 degrees. And then, so if I turn it another quarter turn, that would be 180 degrees like so, and I've turned it clockwise, okay? Alternatively, if I had gone around the other way around, let's just show you. So let's see if it's back on the side. So instead, I'm going to turn it 90 degrees, first of all, anti-clockwise. So that would be 90, like so. And then another 90 degrees would bring you to the exact same location, okay? Um, the most important thing is that you just gently hold the tracing paper exactly on top of the center of rotation, okay? So it doesn't matter if you turn it 180 degrees that way or 180 degrees that way, you can see that it'll bring you to the exact same place, okay? Then you just draw quite harshly, or quite hardly down on it, like so. I'm just gonna 
like that. And then get your ruler and join like that. Okay, and that's how you do rotation. I did say to label the new triangle A, so I'm just going to label it A. 